Preparing for another performance, Jagdish Singh recalls how he once thought it was a far-fetched idea for the troupe to put on the Bhangra for an audience. Punjab spoke dance involves energetic hand and foot movements. Singh lost an arm when he was 12. We used to rehearse behind closed doors because we were embarrassed. We felt very awkward the first time we went on stage, but people who saw our performance encouraged us. The man who convinced him to do the Bhangra more than 20 years ago is Harinder Paul Singh, a polio victim who vowed to put together his own dance company after being mocked for trying to join a normal dance team. After completing my studies, there was a deep desire in my heart to do something that normal people do, so that I feel I'm on par with them. From just four members, the rising star troupe has expanded steadily. The youngest, Kartar Singh, took almost 10 years to learn how to beat an Indian drum called the Dhol, despite a 70% disability in his arm. I learned how to tuck in this elbow so that with its support my hand reaches the drum. I found a way to use my fingers, but I still could not stand up and beat the drum. Then I devised a way to do that. I had to find a way around everything. The dancers have modified some steps to put less weight on one leg, but their zest and energy makes it difficult to spot their disabilities. But it's tough work. To perform Pangra with our handicap in our arms and legs is like making a kite fly without a string. Achieving that has brought them an abundance of confidence, social acceptance and recognition. Qualities that help them, they say, find wives. All our wives are normal girls. And in society, because of our achievement, now our friends say, we are handicapped, you are normal. This celebratory dance is traditionally performed at weddings and festivals. But for these men, the Pangra has become a celebration of their achievements. Antinapa Srija for VOA News, New Delhi.